Hey guys, I hope this captures because I was recording right now and I had a phone call from Hugo, uh, from one of my friends. Anyways, uh, actually one of the youth that I'm working and mentoring with right now, men mentoring to right now. Uh, today's topic, I want to talk about uh, God over social media. You know, I've gotten to the point where I, I'm getting maybe one customer from Facebook. And so social media, and I'm still going to keep my social media coordinator, uh, you know, just based on the fact that since I do want to at least franchise one day, I, I still want her posting my, my, you know, my, my content and things of that nature. But I stopped relying on social media for uh, of my business to prosper. And I started just relying on God. And I started just getting, hold, uh, getting a hold of God. And you know what, guys? I've had so much luck with so many of the customers that I've met that have given me referrals, that the word is spreading, word of mouth is spreading about my company, about my business, about my code of ethics, about the fact that I am a respectable gentleman with, with women, about the fact that I, you know, do an efficient job, that I'm not, you know, using foul language when I'm in someone's home. You know, just the fact that you, you know, you're courteous, that you're respectful, that you know how to, you know, act around people. And that you do an efficient job. I mean, just that speaks volumes. And people, you know, they're 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 talking about me. And this is within my community. And so, therefore, I am I am continually staying busy. And that's a blessing from God. I continue to honor God with my tithe and with my offerings, especially my offerings to world evangelism. And um, I don't come at you guys with that holier than thou crap. I don't I don't roll like that. I, I'm a, I'm a sinner saved by grace. I have a lot of imperfection. Trust me, I do. Uh, but I do want you guys to focus on, on God to prosper your business as opposed to just social media. If social media is just another tool, it's not a, the, it's not a, 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 a me, it, it's not the, it shouldn't be the primary objective. I know, and I, I listen to Gary, uh, Gary V, man. I mean, I love his, his content. I love how he talks about us being on social media, engaging one another and stuff like that. But I've come to the realization that my convictions, my convictions as a conservative Christian come before, you know, friendship, come before all of that. Uh, because, uh, you know, light and darkness don't don't mix. And, and you know, how can a, a well, you know, bring forth sweet water and sour water? It's not going to happen. And to me, the convictions that I have uh, to stand up for what I believe in, to stand up for my faith... Uh, when it's coming under attack in the social climate that we're in and to stand for something that means something like the protection of the unborn is, is, is more important to me and I will honor God more. God will honor me with, with business. He will bring people into my life that, that, will, that will give me work, that will employ me, that will uh, appreciate my ethics, that will appreciate my moral convictions. And, I, and will prosper me. And I have been very fortunate. God has blessed me. God has blessed my company. Things are happening in my company without me ever having to compromise my beliefs in Jesus Christ or me ever having to compromise my convictions that killing an unborn child is a sin and is, is detrimental to our country. Um, I'm, I'm going to go as far as to say that it is as detrimental to our country for us to have allowed this to happen um, than in a blot in our history as was any other mishap that we had that seemed monumental. Um, if slavery was a, a, an evil that was brought upon by the, the Democratic Party and abortion is an evil that was been brought about the Democratic Party and the Republicans were still fighting against that to this day. And my moral conviction, I stand by my conviction. I stand by my faith. I am a man who believes in God. I am a man who believes in God's Son. I am a man who believes in the Holy Spirit. And I will not be ashamed of it. And God is prospering my business. I am thriving. Even without social media. God bless America.